Google's new AI tool, tentatively known as Nano Banana, could completely change the way we edit images. And in this video, I'll break down what it does, show you how it compares to Photoshop and tools like that, and explain why it might become an essential tool for creators like you and me. Now stick around because the last example will really show you how powerful this model actually is. So the cool thing about Nano Banana, or basically Google Gemini as it's actually known now, is that it is completely and utterly free. There's no charge for this, so you can use this and follow along and do everything that I'm going to do at this point in time. That may change in the future, who knows? Right now, it's completely free. To get access to it, all you need to do is go over to Google Gemini, link will be in the description down below. And from there, just change this from tools and choose the option to create images. Now obviously you can type in anything you want here and create an image from scratch using AI. So we've given it a prompt, it's created an image, and cool, it's an AI image. You know, it is cool, but that's not what's making this so useful. What is making it so useful is how we can use images as source files and how we can retain the likeness in those images. Let me show you how that works. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click to add a file, and now we'll just tell it what we want. So a pretty simple prompt, let's just hit the submit option, and let's go and see what it does. So there we go, there's the results that we're going to get. As you can see, what it's basically done is it's inserted that woman's cut out from the background and inserted it into a AI generated image of a busy office in the background. It's done a very good job. The lighting looks pretty good and consistent across the board. You'll see it's done a fantastic job of cutting her out from the background, but ultimately that's all it's really done. We've got an AI generated image and we've got a cutout of this particular person in the background. The pose is the same and everything else is the same about it. So can we change aspects of this while still retaining the consistency between the image that's being used, the background and so on? So let's try making some changes. Let's try something simple to start off with by just changing the color of her clothing and seeing does it retain the various different aspects of the image. And there we go. It's changed her outfit to blue, still retaining the same look, the same person, the same background. All those elements are still in place. Let's go a little bit further, though. Let's change some characteristics about the person in the photo to kind of see what it'll do there and if it'll actually give us a good result while retaining the image consistency. So we're asked to change the expression to smile with both arms crossed as opposed to be in the position she's in now. And there we go. We now have that same person with a smile, with her arms crossed. There are slight changes in the background, for example, where these people are standing, but the general feel is pretty consistent. And the likeness of the person is, again, also consistent. You can see her clothing now is the same as we made in the last example. So we are kind of making these iterative changes while retaining the consistency. So in my next example, I've asked it to do quite a complex set of changes. Give her glasses, give her an iPad and an Apple Pencil, and sort of push her over to the right-hand third of the image. You'll see it's done exactly what I've asked it to do. It still looks very, very realistic. The background is still the same. All those key elements are still in place. It's pretty impressive what it's doing here, how it's changing these aspects. Now, for this next example, I've asked it to do something completely different. I've given it the same image of the woman, but also added a second image in. I've asked it to place these two women in a coffee shop, having a chat, etc. You get the idea. This is what it comes up with. That's pretty impressive. We've set the environment. We've got the two people. It's retained their clothing. It's added extra parts of their body in. If you remember, it only kind of goes to sort of waist height. So we've got kind of the legs and everything else. It's keeping that consistency with the clothing. Pretty impressive what you can do here. Next up, I'm asked it to change other parts of the environment. I wanted a round table. I wanted to kind of create a more moody environment. And again, you can see it's changed her clothing like I've asked it to do to put a sort of tartan trouser suit on. I kind of thought, well, let's see how it goes or something like that. The rest of the environment is exactly what I've asked it to do. We've changed the table. We've got the same consistency between those two people. This is really good stuff. So now we've seen how we can do things like that. Let's take a look at some, some more inanimate objects and how we can be very specific about the changes we want to make and see the results we get. So for example, we've got these two Ferraris in a car park. They're both red. I want to make the one on the left-hand side blue. So I'm going to tell the AI to do exactly that. Make the left car blue. After a couple of seconds, it's done exactly what I've asked it to do. Now, you could easily do this inside a tool like Photoshop or any kind of image editing software. But when you have these two vehicles next to each other, you are going to need to make a mask. And when you have complex shadows and things going on, you can do it, but it will take you time. And you need to understand how to get those best results. This has done all of that for me in the matter of about... 30 seconds. I haven't created masks or anything else to go with it. So that's pretty impressive. 
So let's ramp it up a notch. We've changed the color of the car, but let's say we want to remove all the distractions and put it in a different environment completely, but we still want those two cars and we want them to look like they're in the right place. Well, that's exactly what I've asked it to do, and this is the end result. All those distractions have gone. We've changed the actual tarmac or asphalt for my American viewers. We've set it on a beach with a sea in the background, and you've got to be honest, it's done a really good job. Even where we've got the actual windscreen or the windshield, you can see through there, it's taken everything out. It has left a little bit of red from the bonnet there, though, if you take a really close look. But if that's all you had to change inside a tool like Photoshop or Pixelmator Pro or Affinity, that's pretty simple to do. That's pretty impressive. Let's take it a step further and ramp up the complexity here. I want to take this image. I want to keep the Mustang, I believe remove the focus, remove all the background distractions, and completely change the angle of this car and place it in a completely different environment. But let's just do it a little bit iteratively. Let's see if we can get rid of the other distractions inside you and just have this car from a different angle. Now, while the angle isn't completely different, it is a different angle. I've asked it to be a little bit lower. You can see it's done a good job it has left a few things in though. I was specific about remove the cars from the scene. So it might consider this one to be a four x four or SUV if you're in the America. It's done most of what I've asked it to do. But let's take it up another notch again. Let's use this example and ask it to do something specific with this car. We're gonna change the environment totally. So this is gonna be pretty comprehensive and complex if you were gonna do this yourself and make it look realistic. And this is what I've ended up with. This is insane how good this is. Let me just pinpoint some of the key details here. First of all, it's the same car with the same details on it. It's at a different angle. Instead of looking over the sort of the left-hand side of it, we're now looking more front on with a little bit of the right-hand side. But what's even more cool about this is if you look through the rear windscreen or windshield, you can see it's picked up the color of the sand behind it. If you take a look, you've got the shadow of the woman's hand resting on the car. You've got tire tracks in the sand. You've got the red reflection from their shorts over on the right-hand side of the car in the sort of the wing. That's insane how good that is. And my prompt was incredibly simple. I asked it to change the setting to have the car on a beach with a group of male and female lifeguards standing around it all smiling. So from that image to that image, with one incredibly simple prompt and so many little details inserted into this that make it incredibly realistic. You can't deny that that is very, very good. We've got consistency across the board when we put people in. We can set up completely new environments while retaining the consistency of those people's likenesses. We can remove distractions. We can do things like change colors. We can set up completely new images in completely new environments and have it actually pick up some key details that you would expect if this was a real scene. You can't deny this is incredibly impressive. And if we consider this is probably the worst it's going to be, the next version of the next version, and when we get things like ChatGPT playing catch up to this, because currently Nano Banana or Google Gemini is by far the best at doing this kind of thing while retaining those likenesses. But as always, I'm going to pass it over to you. Have you tried this for yourself? Are you aware of the sort of nano banana? If you are, what are your thoughts on it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comment section down below. So I would love to get your thoughts and feedback on this, whether you would use it, if you have a use case for it, let me know. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats. And until next time, take care.